All right, the last step, step eight. Brand yourself as the expert in your field. Doesn't matter what field you're working in, brand yourself as an expert. Here's a, here's a guideline on how you can do that. Step one, for the first year out, go out there and go to industry events in your field. Doesn't matter if you're in investing, if you're in technology, every single month, at a minimum, attend one industry event. It could be a conference, it could be a talk, it could even be a meetup. But each time you're out there, you're networking with people in your space and just are getting exposed to what's what's trending, what's popular, what's in the know in your, in your industry. Because most people in your field just go to work and that's it. But when you're going out there constantly, going to different industry events every single month at a minimum, you start to pick up, hey, this, this seems to be like a really trending area in my field, right? So for example, in technology, I work in the big data and analytics some trending topics when you start to go to events or things like open source, Spark, Hadoop, big data, data analytics, data science, right? So in your field, there's similar topics like that. So the first year, go out there, just network. You aren't trying to find jobs per se, you're just out there networking and getting connected and figuring out what's what in your industry, learning the lingo, right? That's, that's really vital and making connections and networking. The second step, year two, start a blog. Go out there and start talking and writing about different topics that are trending in your industry. So what do I mean by that? When I talk about things trending in your industry, right? Because from the first year, you've been to ex exposed to the lingo, what's popular, what's not, where things are going, where the future of your industry is going. Now start riding that wave by talking about it. Start a personal blog or become a guest author on some publications in your space if you can. Right? I'm not saying go out there and write for Forbes or Business Insider or Fortune right, or Inc. Magazine. If you can, that's fine and that, but try to write in different, maybe it's to create just, just an industry journal, try to submit an article, or maybe try to present at a conference, right? But try to go out there and every single month write an article on one topic. Ideally, it should be an evergreen article, so longer than a thousand words. So ideally, somewhere between 3,500 to 5,000 words something really in-depth in your field once a month and publish that on your blog or on a guest blog, right? Or even maybe just a LinkedIn post or article, right? But usually they aren't that long, but go out there and just try to kind of indirectly promote yourself and build your brand so people know who you are. Hey, Ian's that guy that's writing about big data or Ian's that guy that's writing about freelancing or entrepreneurship or finance or real estate. Right? It could be anything. Just start to write and get your get your brand out there, get your brand known. For, so one article each month for, tw for, for 12 months, so one year. Then in year three, get all those articles you've been writing. Right? Ideally, there should be about 12 articles. And turn that into a book. Because did you know, right, if you're writing like, let's say, 3,000 words times 12, that's the 36,000 words. Right? Or if you're writing 5,000 words, that's 60, that's 50, right? It doesn't matter, 50 to 60,000 words, that's a, that could be a book, a short book, but a book net nonetheless. You can then self-publish the book on sites like uh, CreateSpace or Ingram Spark. And now guess what? You've been out there knowing the industry, learning the industry, writing about it, getting your brand out there. Now you, you have a book on that industry. So now your stature has been elevated, right? I mean, most people have, have kind of kind of noticed that you don't really, really become an expert until you publish a book. It's not a coincidence that, hold on, that, that I published a book as well. <laughs> so I'm not just talking about it, like I, I'm living this, right? So publish books, and the whole point of books aren't really to sell books. I mean, you aren't going to make much money off the book. The book is the new business card. It separates you from everybody else in your field, right? It shows, hey, I had the time, the dedication, the hustle to actually go through and publish a physical book. I'm not talking about an ebook. Anybody can do an ebook. I'm talking about a physical book, right? When you're out there, keep, keep on going to those industry events and they say, hey, who's Ian? Hey, who's that? Right? You, you, let's say you work in uh, real estate. Hey, who's that? Hey, I happen to publish a book about real estate and how to invest in multifamily properties. Your credibility goes through the roof. 
because not and not every average Joe is just going to publish a book on real estate or whatever industry you're in. All right. They know that, hey, this guy's got something. This guy follows through. He delivers. He's an executor, action taker, go getter, hustler. Right. So publish a book in your field. Make that an audio book. Make it available as an audio book and ebook as well if you can. Right. And it's not to make money. It's just to build your brand. So imagine if you go into an inter into an interview, right? Imagine you sit down. I don't know if you guys can see me here, right? What did you do? You're coming with a book, right? <laughs> totally changes the game, the frame, right? Because how many people in their twenties have books, right? I'm not saying go out there and become the next New York Times best-selling author. No, but I'm saying build your personal brand, right? Hey, this is somebody who delivers on something. Do you guys get that?